Good. Okay. Uh, good morning. Uh, this morning we will be talking about CB subs, which is uh, an advanced membership system for community builder Joomla and Mambo, uh, which includes advanced ACL functions as well. Uh, we are two persons here from the uh, CB core team. Uh, there is Nick here with us and uh, myself. My first name is Biet. Uh, my ID on the forum is Biet and Nick's ID on the forum is Nant. Um, so um, maybe if you haven't been yesterday, just a very one minute short story about how we started. But 15 to 20 years ago, we have been working together, but not crossing each other uh, at Bell Labs in the United States and uh, working on uh, communication systems. And uh, quite some years later, uh, we met um, at the Community Builder Project, uh, both of us having needs for a website to add user registration profiles um, and some advanced user management. And we have both been hooked up to community building and community builder, and we are very excited um, to now have our, what was our hub hobby, <laughs> um, as our uh, full-time job. Uh, we both are um, engineers as background, and uh, working on community builder and plugins uh, like CB subs is really um, our dream job. <laughs> so today um, we will be presenting CB subs, what it is, uh, what the package contains, documentation which is associated. We'll be speaking about some terminologies that we are using inside, uh, how it works, how the content protection works, um, a few words about the module itself, and then how we can integrate with a lot of components. Um, we give a short overview of the architecture and give some use cases, and then at the uh, end, as this is a commercial uh, plugin for Community Builder, we'll be just uh, speaking on how to get it and what kind of support we offer there. Um, CB Subs is the only fully commercial plugin for Community Builder, and um, actually uh, its revenue are paying us for being full-time here and working on Community Builder and a lot of other free uh, GPL open source and free as beer um, packages that we offer as well. Um, so um, we thought it's okay when you make money with your site, it's okay to pay for the package. And if you want to build a community, it's, it's fine to have it free. So that's, I think, a fair business model that we have been uh, putting there. Okay, what is CB subs? CB subs, according uh, to major um, Joomla uh, people, uh, is the most powerful paid subscription membership solution within Joomla. And it additionally has a full ACL access control uh, integrated for Joomla 1.5, 1.0, Mambo, uh, every, every system on which Community Builder runs. It's a set of Community Builder plugins and uh, CMS extensions. And um, you can basically do whatever membership and even more uh, you want. The package comes quite complete with quite a few integration plugins that you can install like CB plugins. It has a main CB plugin, which is a mandatory one to install, which contains the core package of CB subs. It also comes with a bot plugin for the access control and expirations, um, as well as a module for 
uh, displaying possible plan upgrades, subscribed plans, uh, market the plans. It also uh, comes with a manual, um, which is the documentation, uh, which is that book here, which is almost 300 pages <laughs> that uh, Nick has written. I'll pass it along so you can take a look at it. It's very detailed step-by-step -step introduction. Um, it is actually um, illustrated with many use cases. It allows you uh, within an hour or two to get acquainted with CB subs, to understand its potential, and to actually raise the sales on your site by all um, understanding all the potential and features of upselling, cross sellings that you can have with CB subs. Okay, um, CB subs uh, supports payment gateways, payment accounts. It supports plans, plans are kind of products which can be subscription plans, donation plans, merchandise plans for selling, uh, for instance, online products. And you can combine all of them in a single basket at the, at the checkout. You can upsell, for instance, uh, the, 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 the whole origin of CB subs was our own use <laughs> on our own site where we wanted to support community builder uh, development by selling the documentation, the, the, the large versions with documentation and a subscription base. So we wrote it for ourselves uh, first, but by writing it, we saw the potential for it for any community site. And we wrote it in a way which is reusable on, on any uh, CB site. So it's very flexible. Uh, the periods can be set. You can have different first periods for plans, trial periods. You can have grace periods, have different pricing, auto recurring payments for the payment processors who support that. You can set a number of recurrings which are allowed, um, either unlimited or maybe three recurrings for paying in three tranches. And after the, uh, the last tranche, you can say either it's becoming for lifetime subscription or, well, that's done. <laughs> it uh, expires there. Um, we have now, I think, 18 integration plugins which are delivered uh, with the CB subs. And we have about 20 or so um, other integrations on our forums with using SQL queries. For subscription, it's also very, very uh, flexible. The start date, end date, renewal dates are managed automatically. The payment status, notification are managed as well. The plans can have a hierarchy. You can have sub-plans. You have, for instance, a parent plan, which is, for instance, um, I, s I uh, sell a service for my uh, fitness club membership. And then you can have an option, access to the sauna, access to the swimming pool, which are options to that main plan that people can choose or not. You can have an option, donate to the, to the bartender for the Trinkgeld, <laughs> uh, etc. You can mix all the types of plan in the sub plans as well. So you can make the mandatory, non-mandatory, different um, periods. It's extremely flexible. In the back end, we have a what you call the payment center, where you have a graphics representation on how your business is doing in the last seven days, and you can scroll back with weeks there. And uh, so that when you go to CB subs, you just have immediately an overview of what's going on. Below that, you have the main panel, um, which basically shows you the button to access configurations, settings, payment gateways, plans, look at subscriptions, at baskets and invoices, payments which are made. Each time you have directly the statistics on it, notification from the payment gateway processors. It manages currencies, 
that it updates automatically daily with the European Central Bank. So official rates, so you can have multi-currencies. Um, then you can have a look at statistics, sales of merchandises, what donations you have, you can import users, uh, subscriptions, existing ones. And then uh, there is a, uh, a full history log for tracking, where you have all the records of all changes by which users they are made, so that's very powerful for um, understanding what happened if something happened, the user says, oh, I paid and uh, I, didn't, I didn't get my plan, and I can go there and have exact uh, track of what the user did <laughs> and why it ended up there. It also logs automatically uh, here if there is any errors uh, inside CB subs, inside CB, or even inside your site, which made the payments fail, for instance. So it's very tracking. Yes? Uh, the payment. Um, the payment itself, you mean? Um, it's registered. You have 10,000 payments in one month mm -hmm. or 1,000. Mm -hmm. It's too much to punch. You need to read it in from a uh, format from the first bank. Or right. I mean, the, the tracking here mm -hmm. is done for the invoicing side. The tracking for the payment is done by your payment gateway. <laughs> so your accounting itself should be taking the payments first of all and it can also uh, you can also print invoices here from the back end as well if you need them for your accounting um, and um, you can also uh, do any exports you want from the database the database is very clear text it's very uh, clearly stated labels so that you can really uh, export whatever you need in the format you need Sorry? Import from the bank. And import, uh, when you want to import users, um, you can import users, a list of users to a given subscription. You can import users, user ID, subscription, and start date, for instance, for the subscription. So it will be automatically adding them so that they get a, uh, um, updated if you have existing subscriptions, either manual or automatic ones. Okay, payment gateways. Um, we'll be making a demonstration, maybe just after the talk, to have you an overview of the of the admin panels and of the user interface. There's no internet connection <laughs> here in this room today, so we will be doing it locally. Um, payment gateways. You can have multiple payment gateways offering uh, either PayPal, um, offline payments. We also support authorize.net with recurring payments. Yellow Pay in Switzerland from the Swiss Post. There's a dummy payment gateway for your test, and we'll be also having two checkout in version 1.1, as well as an API for developers to add more gateways. Plans, there's a plan overview, and you can have a lot of details. I will be going back into that during the overview of the backend. Um, you can have as many plans as you want, and uh, have settings if they allow new subscriptions, registrations, do they allow upgrades, um, etc. etc. We'll, we'll be going to there. A few words about the content protection, access protections. The CB subs system interacts with the CB subs bot, bot um, which is uh, Mambot Joomla plugin, which intercepts uh, the execution of the startup of Joomla and cleanly using Joomla's or a Mambo's API uh, adds 
all events which are needed to intercept, block, modify content to display it uh, properly in depending on the subscription plans which are um, active with the user. And then if, for instance, the user doesn't have the subscription plan needed to access the content, the content will be blocked and when the, guy, the person uh, up, upgrades how it's, when it's offered there, it will be having access. So you can have articles, categories, sections, menus, modules, components, URLs, um, parts filtered in the front end and for Joomla 1.5 and 1.6 in the back end as well. <laughs> All of that works also without payment. You can also use it just as an ACL system <laughs> with free plans. Article protection, you can have either the full article protected or you can have the intro part shown normally. And instead of the read more, you get to read more, the subscription is needed, click here to subscribe. <laughs> and once you click there, CB subs will automatically compute which subscriptions will give access really to that article. It won't propose all subscriptions. It will be automatically computing which one are giving access and then displaying this is a subscription which gives access to that content. So the user directly has the choice so you can have many different subscriptions for many different contents and the user doesn't get uh, mixed up. So you could have a a cheap subscription for one content, a cheap subscription to another content, a little bit more expensive subscription which give access to both contents and it will be showing both here and both others there. So it's really um, all automatic. For modules you can display or hide modules depending on on the plan. So the ex more expensive plan would be showing for instance uh, a module and the cheaper plan would not show it. Component protection, when you try to access anything inside the component, it will just say access to the component is not allowed without subscription, shows the subscription plan which give access to that component. URL parts protection, and actually it's not only URL parts, it's really request protection, protection. so it can even protect forms with the post. You can give, uh, for instance, uh, component being Kunena for forums here and uh, category ID being the one of general discussion here and then if the person clicks to go into that category it will be showing again um, plans to subscribe or showing the category if the person has already planned. Um, there is a module which comes with it which shows the current subscriptions, upgrade possibilities and also random or marketing text and graph or HTML that you can display um, so that if people don't have a given subscription or is a not a registered mem member, you can have uh, incentives there and you can have multiple of such modules throughout your site. And to, together with uh, uh, super modules, um, extensions, you can have very, very flexible um, modules. Okay, uh, we integrate now with about 30 plus major components in Joomla. So, um, I mean, it goes from uh, group drive, document, rep remissatory, GR world, G-events, alpha user points, um, affiliate systems like I Dev Affiliate and uh, Post uh, Affiliate Pro 4, uh, which are the two leading affiliate systems uh, available, uh, are fully integrated. So how, do, how does that work? Um, the component obviously needs to be installed and configured. Then CBSubs integration plugin needs also to be installed, which is a sub plugin of the CBSubs plugin and published. And then it will be automatically adding to plan integrations where you can configure what happens with that plan and that integration. We'll be showing that in a few minutes. Just screen dump here for Docman. You can select which groups 
are co controlled by that plan. So if somebody subscribes to that plan, he will be automatically added to the Docman group. If his plan expires or he unsubscribes, or the payment gets reversed because he challenges the credit card company, it will be automatically be unsubscribed. So um, uh, the unsubscription of the group is controlled here. And in document backend, you will be seeing the members automatically in the group. Uh, there are two uh, very powerful integration plugins which allow to extend to any future of further integration. First, we have the SQL integration plugin, which is basically you can have SQL queries with replacement, safe replacements from uh, CB fields and, C, and uh, now in version 1.1 also, depending on the uh, subscription. So you can have integrations through changing tables, state in other uh, components yourself. And quite a lot of users and ourselves have added a lot of integration SQL statements in our forums, which are uh, also freely uh, available and uh, viewable. So that's quite a, a powerful thing. The URL integration allows to do either local on the same site queries on the local HTTP server or on remote servers and um, do it either by just a normal URL access by posting, by an XML access using SOAP, for instance, or uh, XML RPC uh, possibilities. So you can have different URLs for subscription, activation, renewal, deactivation, expiration, multiple of them. I forgot to tell for uh, the SQL integration, you can, with CBSubs 1.1, have also remote databases. So you can act on other systems. You have PHP, BB3, or uh, I don't know what, um, uh, another site you can uh, remotely do it like you would be able to do it here already now. Then there is a very, very powerful plugin for CB serves and CB, which allows you to specify who sees what, where, and when. For instance, if user a um, wants to see on his profile, uh, uh, maybe his gallery, he needs to have a subscription. Otherwise, he doesn't see his own gallery. So you can control, for instance, the extension of the profile, user profile that you're showing to the user depending on his subscription. And then you can have also rules for a user B to see a user C's profile or not, or part of it. So for instance, you could uh, sell access to extended view of profiles to your user base. For instance, um, you would have this basic free plan. You have just maybe username, avatar, uh, or, um, picture of the person. Um, and with an extended plan, you would have, for instance, uh, more personal details in a dating club, for instance. So um, you can have multiple plans and control that very fine grained. OK, a few words about the architecture itself. Uh, CBSubs is a CB plugin, which completely integrates with the Community Builder, which allows to manage memberships uh, on any CMS on which Community Builder runs. It's tightly integrated because for managing memberships, you need to have a powerful um, user management system. And that's what makes a lot of sense to integrate it with Community Builder. And it allows also to monetize and to give something um, to the site owners um, for the work they do on their site. 
So the architecture basically is to have the CMS with uh, CB subs. Mambo is also supported here. To have the Joomla extensions on your site and have CB subs controlling those part, integrating with um, external services like affiliates either and uh, post affiliate pro have analytics through google to know what's happening on your site and what led to which sale and integration with the payment gateways and then cb subs allows to give those privileges to the users depending on the membership cb subs integrates with Community Builder API fully. It, um, the, the plugin doesn't interact directly with the content management system. It interacts always through Community Builder so that we have an abstraction layer independent of the content management system and most importantly version. Uh, it uses all events, standard events in Community Builder and it, through the integration, it integrates with other um, extensions as well. CB Service 1.1, which um, is going these days into uh, our CB Service work group for testing, includes a gateway API for developers to be able to extend it with a partner development program. Has support for two checkout included is fully translatable in any language front end and back end and has uh, also um, maintenance bug fixes for uh, cb 1.03 which is released now since quite a few months and uh, quite in use key feature um, I didn't mention before, it also now supports authorized.net uh, silent calls for recurring payments so that uh, if somebody's credit card fails uh, with authorized.net, it will automatically be stopping the subscription now, which wasn't uh, available from authorized.net before. It also has address verification services from authorized.net uh, installed. I'm thinking about it. Um, and uh, what I did, I didn't say that. That's about it for CB subs 1.1, which should be available uh, this month. And it's free of charge for people who have bought CB subs 1.0. And from there on, we will be uh, applying the maintenance period uh, that we have been uh, putting in place, which means uh, we're putting at the end. CB subs 1.2 will be released after that, which opens the API for other integrations as well. You can add product types, plugins, and uh, even more uh, features. We'll support coupons and global taxes and VAT inside CB subs. Right now, this has to be handled outside CB subs. Uh, for instance, inside PayPal. PayPal has VAT management with regions. Usually, PayPal knows much better where the person is. <laughs> than yourself because of the credit card number, because of the address that people have to give there and the matching they're doing between the two. So now, right now CB subs 1.0 already supports fully that VAT handling. It doesn't do it internally, um, but CB subs 1.2 will be doing it. Okay, uh, a few use cases typically. Uh, you can have a download club, uh, supplier consumer model, like dating side that I uh, mentioned, a modal agency. We have quite a few models agency using CB subs <laughs> uh, to give access to, uh, to models and uh, uh, handle that. Uh, teaching sites, um, like uh, quite a few of the f uh, famous teaching sites on the internet are using CB subs to sell online training. Um, clubs, associations, churches for collecting donations, um, 
sports clubs, um, associations of professionals are using it for collecting their memberships. Uh, the Joomla.fr uh, associations of member, the Afuge, is using since beginning of this year CB subs to collect the memberships automatically, give automatically access to the site of the association. Um, before that, they, do, they were doing that manually, so the secretary had a lot of work. Now everything is automatic. Additionally, they had to do it once a year uh, uh, in January for the full year. So people in October, they were starting to wait until next January to adhere. <laughs> and now it's sliding 12 months, so everybody feels um, treated equally. CB subs can also handle, of course, uh, calendar year or calendar month, calendar date based subscriptions. Okay. Uh, the other things I already told. Uh, we, we have tried to, to, to make a price structure that was as fair as possible. Um, while paying still for the huge development which has been taking place here. <laughs> CB subs have been in development over three years. We have been developing for over two years before releasing version 1.0 and making extra sure that it is very, very stable because first of all, we wanted to our site to run automatically and not having um, any troubles because when people pay money and the access is not there, uh, you can have quite angry people. You don't want that. So it's very, very stable, very secure. And it um, has a very fair pricing compared to many uh, subscription systems on the internet. We wanted also the price to be very attractive for small sites while um, being very fair also for and very attractive for large sites. So the pricing model is based on the number of users that you have on your site, specifically in the Dross users table. And it starts at 95 euro for 500 users and for the unlimited version, it goes up to 295 euros, including one year of maintenance. The license is unlimited and each extra year is 25% uh, of the license with an option with um, when you're taking more than three years, then it's an unlimited license lifetime. And you can upgrade for just the price difference at any time. So you can start with a small one and uh, don't lose anything uh, upgrading as your user base grows. So the, the feedback on that is that it's very fair pricing and that actually it's very cheap actually. <laughs> compared to the fact that we get a membership system, an ACL system, completely integrated without hacks, and um, also fully integrated with many, many, many components. To get it, it's just from the CB profile on Joomla Polis. Just go to your profile, there's a subscription tab, and from there, like you can get the documentation subscription or buy templates, you can also buy CB subs and directly select. And then once you have paid, you get on your profile directly the license number, uh, links to download, and you can see the installations that you have um, there. And also upgrade it. Here is the upgrade button. Support. We have a dedicated support area on the Joomla Police forum. Our uh, CB team members uh, try to respond daily and often multiple times daily to requests and um, sometimes remote access is required. We have a ticket system for that so that people can uh, privately um, uh, give access if required. Um, and we are here to help you. Uh, Documentation, functionality, um, code is quite rich and the use cases are about infinite. 
there are so much possibilities. I will show that uh, that um, we're here to help to find the right way to make the best use if needed. So in summary, before I go to the uh, presentation uh, overview of the component itself, is that is really a powerful house tool which can transform any Joomla site into a money-making machine which allows to have even richer content and uh, the site to be um, profitable. It protects Joomla content and allows you to charge a subscription fee for that. You can manage them, uh, quite extended. You can sell merchandises, collect donations, and integrate with many Joomla extensions. So we are now at 12 o'clock, and uh, we have, I think, at least a quarter hour to show maybe a little bit of the inside. And we can start, start specific questions as well. Do you have any questions on the presentation before I? Okay, let's let's go to the live and you and too. Are you also showing um, just CV? Sorry. Uh, are you showing how uh, how we can see all the members? Yes, I'm. I'm now. Uh, I'm. I'm now doing a small demo of CB subs. Okay. Um, this is the administration era in Joomla 1.5. Um, where you see here the last seven days payment up there with the date, um, um, the amount which has been completed, the number of transactions, the amount here in uh, color, the transactions which are pending, like an e-check, which takes time to complete, the amount which is pending, how many new user registrations, upgrade renewals you have, and all of that also in graphics form. So this is just a demo site, so each time I make a demo, <laughs> you see, um, a peak here, um, and then below you have the access to the, the control panel where you have access and statistics of your uh, installation. So settings, uh, I, I saw that, sh showed that before already. I just want to say that it already works today on Joomla 1.6. Um, and we have been working the last two weeks to port Community Builder on Joomla 1.6 and CBSubs has been running almost without any changes. <laughs> um, speaking, just we had to add, to add in CBSubs the new possibilities of Joomla 1.6 for ECL, for um, content uh, uh, and user management. Um, that was added actually in CB, and because there are more features, we also had to adapt CB subs. But it was running smoothly, and the porting a CB and CB sub site from Luma 1.5 to 1.6 is basically exporting the table, importing the other system. So it's really easy, and I hope that the upgraders that will be helping that um, will uh, certainly have an easy time to just port the tables as well. So we can uh, so here you see, for instance, I just installed that on 29th, made the test yesterday, and one this morning, so you have the payments up there. Do you want the demonstration back in Joomla 1.5 or 1.6? <laughs> Let's try 1.6. OK. Okay, uh, general settings. First of all, there is the license information, system information um, in the first panel. Then you have the global settings. Global settings are basically 
if you want to show subscription plans at registration, if you want to allow free registered users on your site or users without a subscription, shouldn't be allowed. Um, how you want to handle free lifetime plans? If users without subscription have automatically the first free lifetime plan available, or if you have multiple free lifetime plans, in, case, in that case you would be set, uh, selecting subscriptions. How renewals and upgrades should be handled, if the buttons should be shown or not, if the possibilities should be automatically shown or not. You can set currencies, main currency and a secondary currency. For instance, on Junapolis we display prices in Euro and then we display the equivalent in US dollars. Number formats, local um, roundings and things like that. Um, new in CB subs 1.1, which I'm actually showing here, is that um, you can even select the way that the subscriptions are expiring. Uh, then, uh, in general settings, you have, you have all the display possibilities, how you want to display plans. For instance, you can say it's a subscription, or it's a membership, or it's a super membership, or it's uh, geeks. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you can rename that and it will be automatically uh, putting that. Every string here is translatable. So, uh, and it will be automatically translated to the language of the user. Of course, if the translation is available. Um, how you want to present the pricing out when it's displayed automatically? If it's period for price or price for period, <laughs> for instance. Um, change um, the text when there is not authorized access. Then you can have a lot of possibilities for when you display the basket. Uh, I didn't enable here the HTML editor, but it's all, everything is of that is uh, HTML. You can have introduction, conclusion text for, for baskets, when you upgrade, when you renew. When you have free trials, it automatically shows a free trial button. For instance, if you have a subscription plan which has a free trial of seven days and then $10 per month, uh, it will be automatically showing a free trial button if you allow people to do single payments for that. If you require a subscription, it will not show that. Then the, the person will be having to go to PayPal um, say yes, I want this recurring payment with, which starts in seven days that I can cancel, of course, and um, the free trial button would not be shown. So it's very flexible in terms of your business model to suit them. And of course, you can always have all these substitutions peeled um, there. Then for invoices. You can assign automatically CB fields to the invoice address. You can set how long you want to display the list of invoices on the user profile so that you can print them anytime. You can set invoice content and styling and HTML, how your address is displayed, how you want to display your logo, um, how you want to display the address terms and conditions, footer images, and here's a list of all substitutions that you can use anywhere. If and how you want to, create, to handle unsubscriptions, cancellations, how you want to handle and display automatic expirations, and uh, when it's needed, um, your membership has expired, then you have the button below to resubscribe. For, when you have systems which have on-site credit cards, uh, you can select if you want the CCV, the billing address, just zip code and country, or even the street address, uh, typically for authorized.net. And here, if you have integrations, on the 1.6 site, I didn't yet put the integration. 
stuff. But if we go to the 1.5 site, here I have a few integrations. OK. I didn't upgrade all of them yet. But um, for content, you can say which users have um, access to everything independently of subscription. So typically, super administrator want to see everything here. Let's get back to 1.6. So it's for general settings. Now, gateways, I'm maybe not going to go into more, much detail. Let's take, ah. okay, I don't have an internet connection, so I have only the local buttons. I don't have all the PayPal buttons <laughs> which are loading here. But uh, you can enable various levels of security. It supports all security levels of PayPal, from the basic just payment button up to the fully encrypted, authenticated, uh, certified, double certificate, hiding and securing the full form with an additional level. But that's really not needed for the payment security because we do for every IPN that we receive, every PDT that we receive from PayPal, we do a verification with the payment server at PayPal and we verify the reply. And there are many additional anti-cheating systems which are inside. And from what I have seen in other sources, um, but I have been doing some security reviews sometimes, it's by far, by far the most secure system that I have seen um, within all open sources and closed sources that I've had a chance to look at. Um, security has been a very key element um, in that. So typically, you can add a PayPal gateway here. Um, we'll not do that now. Time. I have just set up a dummy payment gateway here for doing our. Yeah. How about extending the gateways, putting in private gateways? Right. That will be available. Okay. Um, in uh, CBCEPS 1.0, we didn't yet publish the API because we wanted to finish it correctly to have a very, very clean and flexible integration so that people don't have to twice implement it. With CBCEPS 1.1, this is now done. And we will be publishing shortly after CBCEPS 1.1 release uh, the API, a documentation, and the uh, development program so that people can communicate directly with us, that we can review the security, we can help. Uh, to have high quality gateways and uh, basically what the integration allows there is to have the interaction to display the form in HTML on the site if needed, um, to have the right directions to the gateways if the form is on the gateways, to handle the, IP, the notifications from the gateways, to notify the gateway. Um, basically handle all the gateway transactions and uh, there's a couple, there's, each gateway is basically a sub-plugin now. So you can install a, a third-party gateway as a sub-plugin of CB subs and uh, it will be automatically appearing in the list of payment buttons when you, once you configure the gateway. Uh, CB subs also has a field where you can actually have an, uh, owner for the gateway and owners for plans. It's not uh, a yet completely complete feature, but it works very well. You can have for a given plan, you can say the owner of that plan is number three. And it will be only showing uh, gateways which are owned by number three when you, 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 you get out of the payment. Can we go into subscriptions? Yes, sure. Subscriptions are, uh, oh, this is Joomla 1.6, and the CSS styling has been a bit different, but um, you can do many filterings <laughs> to find subscriptions. And here you see who has which subscriptions. On the 1.5 site, I have much more of those. It's probably easier to see, and the styling is also better. Yeah? yeah? Yes. Oh, yes, right. 
if your payment gateway has authorized.net compatible API, which a lot of them have actually, you can just put a URL of the gateway and it will be working. So uh, actually, with the authorized.net PayPal and uh, um, uh, uh, 1.1 uh, to checkout, we already support quite a few gateways which are compatible API wise. So, um, what if you have a member site that you're using a internet client? Do you pay one? And not PayPal? Um, so, PayPal supports in some countries the bank transfer, also like in Germany mm -hmm. um, and in the United States typically. The banks are always national. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and we will be collecting um, partners, starting with CBSubs 1.1, for doing gateway development. Uh, and the customer who wants to sponsor the gateway development will be able to do it and we will be then adding it and maintaining the security and the upgrades and doing the maintenance. Is so, that a launch job? Sorry? Is that a launch job to do? It depends on the gateway. Um, Compared to, uh, to, 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 to other solutions, the gateway implementation is much more secure usually. Mm -hmm. You can make it same level of security than usual security, but if you want to follow the standards of CBSubs security-wise, uh, it's probably two to three times uh, more work to really tight it. But you can have it less same security level for same work. Depends uh, on what you need. But the API for the gateways um, being very generic and very clean, um, you will probably have less time to implement the gateway in CBSubs than in, a, in another one. Um, I would think that those national gateways are simple. Yeah. Yeah. PayPal. yeah. PayPal and authorize.net are very complex gateways um, in terms of. Um, protocol in terms of security, in terms of encryption. Most gateways are just not very secure. Um, for the shop owner, for the gateway it's secure, but for the shop owner it's not very secure. Um, transactions and um, what did you say before was important. Um, the, the adding will be much easier uh, when we give more examples out, because we just change a few things uh, from one gateway to another. <laughs> so we'll be also giving examples out. So typically this is the list of subscribers. But before I go there, I would like to just show the possibilities for plans, because they're quite extensive. So for instance, if I take an existing plan here, um, in the plan, first of all, you can set presentation, a name, an alias, a description in HTML, how the price is uh, displayed. Automatic by default, it will be computing automatically the price and displaying it automatically. But with, sub uh, with substitutions here, uh, you can have many, many possibilities to display the price in the way you want, or just put a fixed price there uh, in the way you want that. You can have sub-plans with, um, with the top plan, uh, setting if it's exclusive or not, if it will be showing children plans always, or just what's selected with using uh, uh, um, JavaScript, we have to do zero. So first we make the plan, and then we connect the plan to the subscription, is that right? The plan is, um, you connect a plan type to a plan, and a plan to a user to a subscription. Okay. And you can have multiple plans, multiple subscriptions to the so user. The plan can be one year subscription. You can have one year, five, from five minutes to ten years, or unlimited. And you can have multiple plans of same type for the sub subscriber. For instance, if he wants 
to subscribe to. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, uh, if you want to have, for instance, subscriptions for the family, and say, I have a, uh, a plan to subscribe my children uh, for tennis, mm -hmm. you can have uh, multiple subscriptions of same type at mm -hmm. same time, mm -hmm. and uh, you you. With the UE, which we have now, you can buy one at a time, but you can have multiple of them. And um, you can, well, uh, when you see the front end, it will be probably easier to understand. Here, you can set a separate currency for each plan also. You can have a, a different first period for registration of an upgrade, for upgrades only, for registration only, or always the same. Um, always the same price. You have all currencies? What? Uh, all? You have all kind of currencies? Uh, the currencies are here. You can, there are uh, all currencies which are sub supported by the gateways we implement. <laughs> okay. Uh, the time is up. Okay. Two minutes? Exactly. That's you do that in integration for the plan in content. There you can select sections, categories, articles for read access. But then, depending on the plan, you can make people author, editor, publisher for given sections, category, or articles. So you can... And this, this is based on the new right management on the new Joomla? No, you, it works in Joomla 1.0 and 1.5 with CB subs today. So that's really fine-grained, full ACL uh, integrated with, without any core hacks. So, uh, and that will continue to work with Joomla 1.6 without... And the registration for, right? so you, can, you can build it up by the wallet? Check Here. And, uh, uh, the... So, typically, you would have this, or if I do register here, I think. The plan didn't have... Here. You can... This is a tab of CB. And you can put it wherever you want. And you can mix free plans, paid plans, auto recurring ones, optional ones, donations, products, everything we want. Yeah. Yes. End up. Once you register, you have to pay, of course. Now, here I have a one hour access as publisher. <laughs> 30 minutes for $500. <laughs> or, uh, and then I can add an auto recurring payment for news feeds. If I go to news, ah, here. Okay, it says access is not allowed without a subscription. And this one allows you to have access to it. Yes. What kind of link, what kind of a downloading process is that? We integrate with Docman and Remisitory components. So you would add those downloads into typically a, for a group, and we add automatically with integration once the payment is completed, the user to that group. And you could have your own integration as well with your own extensions using either a SQL statement in the integration or just calling up through the URLs access a given script which adds in PHP to your user. So integration are clean and interfaces are precise. You could actually link up to some existing footage. 
Yes. Exactly. You could add the user to a, a video server automatically. We, we, we do this kind of thing also with CB or um, to have multiple registrations. And if you haven't been here yesterday, we have announced yesterday and demoed yesterday. I don't have internet, I kind of demo it now. But we had added um, a CB Connect plugin, which is completely amazing. <laughs> Allows you to register CB site using your Facebook, Twitter, Friends Connect, LinkedIn, through Friends Connect and LinkedIn, uh, Orkut. Sorry? MySpace, MySpace uh, whatever, uh, probably a billion users <laughs> can have one click registration on your site and that integrates with CB subs. So once they register, they get, okay, to access you have this. <laughs> and in the profiles, we have added now open social apps. We have added um, Facebook apps, gadgets. And we have now like 40 applications from commenting to rating to galleries to whatever apps you have in Facebook or in uh, Friends Connect uh, open social can be added to a CB profile. You can have a comment, com your uh, wall displayed on your CB site. You write in the wall. It will be adding to your wall and visible on Facebook with a backlink to your profile. So you can bring back people. Sounds oh, great. So, <laughs> I mean, it's, we're really excited about the possibilities, and they're really in, infinite, so... Uh, uh, you got a, you got a kind of demo for offline testing purposes, something like that? I would love to have something like that. We... So I actually have a consultant, I want to give him a business card, and I got maybe one or two clients I can great. talk about. Sure. And, Thank you. Um, but first of all, I need to have a better feeling. I'm quite... I'm not a coder, mm -hmm. just... Uh, selling it yeah. To yeah. We, we we have the the 30 days money back guarantees mm -hmm. so you can just purchase the uh, smallest okay. package okay. take a look at it if it's good you keep it use it directly well, I think I might need your advice anyway. but uh, so we have a contact forum get, uh, we have the forum right. uh, there's a lot of questions which have already been answered in the forum as well a lot of use cases there a lot of information. There are really many, many sites today which use CB subs. It's very extensively used. Uh, what I have seen is quite certainly the most popular <laughs> subscription system on, uh, on Joomla today. Oh, yes. If you're also it's talking about the digital content, if you're also hosted on the Apache server with the digital integration plugin, it automatically adds users to Kind of uh, a music 